Number 45. How wide is a single slit that produces its first minimum for 633 nanometer light at an angle of 28 degrees? Okay. Please watch number 43. I went, just gave you a very firm direction about this equation. We're going to be using that equation to solve this problem. Also, I talked about in 44. So d sine theta is going to be equal to m lambda. If you were saying, wow, 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 it's minimum. I know. Go back and watch 43. All right, you don't even have to watch it very long. Just the beginning part. Um, so how wide is the single slit? So we gotta find D. So to find D, we're gonna be dividing this on out. So this is the formula for D. Now all we gotta do is plug in. So the M, it says the first minimum. Didn't highlight that, but that is important. Then multiplied by the wavelength here, they said the light is gonna be 633 nanometers, but why don't we just convert that into meters and then divide that all by the sine of the angle. Well, they gave us the angle, so very good. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode and let's do it. So 633 uh, times 10 to the minus 9th divided then by sine of 28. What do we get? 1.3, I guess 5 times 10 to the minus 6 and that's going to be in terms of meters. So that's how wide the slit is. And then it says at what angle will the second minimum be? Okay, so now you got to go back to the original formula. So why don't we move this on over to the side? Boom. Let's do now letter B. This was letter A. Go back to the original formula, D sine theta is equal to M lambda. They want now to know the angle. So divide D out from both sides. So you just simply do a little switcherooski. And all we're going to do is take the inverse sine of both sides. And what that's going to allow you to do is cancel the sign on the left. And bada bing, bada boom, there is your formula. So here we go inverse sine of the uh, second now minimum, so m is 2, the wavelength hasn't changed, that's 633 times 10 to the minus 9th meters, and divide that then by the d you just found, 1.35 times 10 to the minus 6. Oh, cool! And let's do it. So inverse sine now of 2 times 633 times 10 to the minus 9th divided by 1.35 times, well, actually, well, actually, Let's go back and grab the exact answer. Okay, good. And we get a value then of about 69.9 degrees. And there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. All right. I appreciate it. We really do. We wouldn't be here without you. And we appreciate your support. If you can like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. Really makes our day. It really does. So, um, yeah. Thank you. See you soon.